Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm this on Friday, but upload this maybe Saturday. So, um, it's rumors that Brock Lesnar won't be hap uh, Brock Lesnar won't be uh, showing up at SummerSlam or anytime soon. He's going to not be facing Bobby Lashley in the dream match that people wanted. Um, and the now, what's being reported is instead of that, we might be getting Goldberg versus uh, uh, Bobby Lashley. But now all the smarts are complaining. They're angry about this rumor. They're not happy about it, even though these guys... Listen, the reality is fucking Goldberg and Lesnar is not really that different. You know what I mean? But they were happy about fucking Lesnar coming back, but they hate Goldberg. But I thought they hate part-timers, you know what I mean? Listen, I get it fucking that's a dream match because they were both... They both did MMA. I get it. But the reality is... If, if, Lash, if Lesnar's not coming back, you can't really blame them. You can't really play, uh, again like apparently while I'm while I read the news like first of all one of the possibilities why Lesnar's not coming back is one he's probably already done with wrestling they have him on the web oh but he was he switched to the raw brand for some that could have been a glitch or something that's like apparently one of the rumors two they're actually saving his appearance for a later date which I don't know why, cause don't you want to make SummerSlam big time? But whatever. And apparently they want to fucking same big day, cause apparently his new contract, which they might actually have a new contract, it's not like official. In his new contract, he doesn't have as much as dates as, as he did before. He's actually more of a part timer, as you can say. So, and apparently they're building up to a future Reigns and Lesnar match. Where he's gonna return and he's gonna face Reigns probably. Um, I mean, I would like to see Lashley and Lesnar. I, I don't know. I don't think we should see Reigns yet. I don't know why, they're, but whatever. <sighs> like, I get you kind of do have to do Reigns and Lesnar, but like, it doesn't. It, obviously, it's sad that they're not gonna fucking have him on Raw first. You know what I mean? I don't know why, but it is what it fucking is. Honestly, it would be good if he... Uh, whatever. It would lead to, eventually, Lashley and Reigns. But apparently, uh, he they don't want to make him, like, lose too much. Which, I don't know. <laughs> Add more dates. I don't fucking know. But we got, but that's a different story. But you can't really blame Lesnar, which, again, is whatever. But people are hating on Goldberg. So, listen. I get it. It's a dream match. But if you think about it, Goldberg versus Lashley is another dream match, if anything. I honestly think this is actually a match that you know. You know how fucking Smarks would say, "I never thought, uh, uh, I, I never thought of a dream match until now or something." Honestly, thinking about it, this is actually not a bad match to do. You know, this is another kind of spear versus spear match. This may be a hard hitting match. This is interesting. You got. They, uh, got Goldberg, who's one of the biggest baby faces of all time and shit, you know, bet one of the best spearmen, you know, baby face, and fucking Lashley, he's the current big, bad WWE champion, and again, this is a, a big match to do for SummerSlam, if they can't get Lesnar, you might as well get Goldberg, and this is actually a big match to do, and it's good for fucking SummerSlam, if they're not gonna bring back Lesnar for some reason. And heck, they might even fucking, they, you know, you never know. They might actually do Lesnar versus Lashley soon. May not be SummerSlam, so, but they might not, it doesn't mean that they're not going to do it. If anything, I think they might actually bring him back instead of the Royal Rumble. I, I think that's what they do. They might do now, you know, in terms of a Royal Rumble pay-per-view, who will win the Rumble, and maybe Lesnar. And they might do that. They might do, or it might be Reigns, but it doesn't, I don't think they're not going to do a Lesnar-Lashley match. I think that will happen. It's just we're gonna have to wait a little bit, but with Lashley and Goldberg, you might not. <laughs> there might not be enough time to fucking do that match, so you might as well do it now, I guess. And uh, fucking Smarks are hating on this because they think fucking oh. But now you know what the sad thing is: all the people, 
They're now they're fucking defending Lashley. Now they want Lashley to win. Now they feel sad for Lashley, even though you got these Sparky fans who were complaining that oh, Lashley's so boring. This guy is not a good champion. The only thing I don't like about Lashley now is the fucking that the fact that he's losing, and he's like being treated like a joke. That's what I don't like. I don't like that he lost this Xavier Woods recently. I don't like that. That's fucking pathetic. Lashley should not be losing to jobbers. And honestly, especially if you're going to do a match like this, if you're going to do him versus Goldberg, you should not be having him lose. You know what I mean? But this is actually not a bad match to do for the WWE title. This is actually a good match. It's going to be a hard-hitting match, I think. You know, Spear versus Spear. Some hard-hitting moves going to happen. And for people who are going to complain that, oh, Lesnar's going to come in and win. What makes you think that? What makes you think that? Just because he d defeated Kevin Owens one time and The Fiend, when again it's not his fault, obviously he's WWE making it like, why would you hate the guy personally? Why? And again, it's hypocritical because here's the thing they hate guys returning to, the, and again, they don't like part timers. This is again, you guys are hate the idea of Goldberg coming back, I mean, Lesnar coming back, but now you want that match to happen now, even though, and because Goldberg is rumored to be facing Lashley? Like, make up your fucking mind. You make up your fucking mind. And they're hating on part-timers coming back. because, But you have to understand, the reason why they're bringing back part-timers, and this has always been the re reason why, is because you have no stars. Yeah, oh, WWE, they don't, they're, it's their fault. But guess what? What stars do they have anyways? Who could they make stars? You know, who, who could they really make guys like fucking... Who's a like, Kofi Kingston a star? Are you kidding me? They gave him the chance, and he's not really a star. He fucking sucked ass. Okay? And again, people want him to lose the title, but once he loses it to Lesnar, you guys complain. So what do you want? You guys fucking so hard, so like cry about every sh every single shit. You know what I mean? You guys wanted fucking Drew McIntyre to be champion, now you're turning your back on him. You guys want Seth Rollins to be champion, he defeated Lesnar. Then you guys want the title to be off him, but you complain when he lost it to Lesnar again. Like, what is it? What do you guys want? Oh, but they, they're booked. Motherfuckers. If anything, they were booking Kofi Kingston, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins strong when they were champions. They barely lost. So what is it? You're like, God, you guys fucking say stupid shit. Like, seriously. And what makes you think that fucking Goldberg's going to beat Lashley? If anything, honestly, Lashley has a better chance at winning this match. Because, like, what, the whole almighty gimmick? They might actually have him win. Because to establish that he's more of the almighty gimmick. Okay? Like, that's what seems to be. That's what's gonna fucking happen. That's gonna help. And again, for you people that complain, guess what? Goldberg, like or not, does fucking come back and fucking lose to people. He actually put people over. He helped, or and at least tried to. He tried to put over Braun Strowman. He lost him. He lost to fucking Drew McIntyre recently. Oh, you guys were worried that he's going to fucking defeat McIntyre. Guess what? He lost. So what's your excuse to hate on Goldberg? And honestly, it does seem that now he's going to lose to fucking Bobby Lashley. So what is it, you know? The only person who seems going to be fucking Bobby Lashley might be Lester, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. If anything, I think what they're going to do, they're going to try to give him more of a lengthy reign. They might have him lose, if anything, probably next year's WrestleMania, and that might be against Brock Lesnar or whatever the fuck. Okay? Or someone whoever uh, is built up for him. I hope it's someone at least built up, like actually, you know, someone cool. But whatever. But that's what seems to be. And again, if it even if fucking Lesnar, I mean not Lesnar, Goldberg beats fucking Lashley, who cares? Goldberg actually is good, and like it or not, fucking he is a draw. Like why? Who, who cares? Fucking Goldberg is a draw. People like Goldberg. I know you smarts don't like him just because he defeated fat ass Owens, fucking the fiend who's a joke. Don't even sit down. They're so fucking. Guess what? He's a fat fuck. Who cares? They're all a joke. And again, like who? Again, who's really better to defeat Bobby Lashley? Kofi Kingston? You want him to win? And again, this is being uploaded perhaps Saturday or whatever. And then who knows? Maybe the match won't be for the title. But I do hope Lashley doesn't lose. I don't think he should lose to Kofi. That'll be stupid. 
But for real. But again, this is just a rumor. Because again, like, it's apparently Lesnar won't, won't be coming back. But this is sadly the, uh, the second best match they can do. But who cares? This is, like it or not, this is actually the best match they can do for the WWE title. As one of the big main events. You Like it or not, it is a big match to do. Because unfortunately, the, the reality is... There's no stars. That's why they have to bring back guys like Goldberg. What do you expect? You guys don't want Drew McIntyre versus him again, don't you? And again, again, with that whole stipulation, you can't challenge for the title. So, what else, you know? And if they don't want to bring back... Again, like, sure, would it be cool to bring back Lesnar? Yeah, but again, again, they're not going to bring him back. Or, who knows, maybe he's going to be actually coming back, but he's going to be facing Reigns. You know what I mean? So what can you really do? Because uh, apparently Cena might not be in SummerSlam this time. You don't, you don't know. We don't know yet. We're not sure. But again, to complain about fucking Goldberg versus Lashley. Come on here. Like what? Just because fucking... Oh, you know, he just, again, it's, I'm tired of this Goldberg hate. Like seriously. Why hate Goldberg? Just because he fucking returned. Again, the guy had a good run. He came back, defeated Lesnar. Oh, but he, def he shouldn't have defeated Lesnar. He defeated fat ass Owens. Who fucking cares? It, it, it's good that he fucking defeated him. Because the guy was fucking killing fucking ratings. The guy was fucking a joke of a champion. But now we're seeing like, oh, he was a good universal champion. Even though he complained about how boring Raw was for, for fuck's sakes. Oh, he defeated the Fiend. Oh, <laughs> who the fuck cares? God. If anything, Goldberg tr actually tried to help add to the show. And you're gonna fucking complain and when this guy literally came back for you people. The guy comes back for you people. He could be retired and say no. But for guys, the fact is he's trying to fucking help this company. And you guys gonna hate on him because, oh, he, he defeated my lovely Kevin Owens and the Fiend and nowhere the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? The guy is a draw. We need him more than ever. What do you expect? We do need guys like him more than ever. Come on here. I, I, oh, he, he only got two moves. Well, guess what? That's all he needs. And he's over with them. Listen, like, I get it fucking all the fucking... Listen. And at least those are moves. You guys are fucking... Like, if, 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 like, just say he only had two moves. But re reality, he does and he does more than that. But that, those are her main moves. At least you have... He's known for those moves. At least he's known for those moves. What moves are, are the Young Bucks are known for? Aside from the super kicks. The reality is all these fucking wrestlers have no moves nowadays. They don't even do moves for fucking shit. They're not even wrestling. At least Goldberg is doing wrestling moves. And he's a badass. That's what we need. We need two badasses to fight for the title. A good guy and a bad guy. And Goldberg is fit well for that to face Bobby Lashley. And if you don't like it, well, go, go fuck yourself. Deal with it. This is good for wrestling. Because at least it's something for fucking, for fucks is actual wrestling fans. Not some wrestling fans that are smarts that I've been watching since WrestleMania 20 or 9 where the fuck are going to fucking not like. Because guess what? At least this is something that fucking actual fans are going to like. Because at least it's going to draw some interest, going to draw in some viewership a little bit that they need. Alright, let's say, say people. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Drink a cold time. I'm and that's what I have to say, people. Peace. You know, one more thing, too. Oh. Goldberg's dangerous to work with. You guys, you guys like strong style. You guys like people legit hurting people in Japan. But when a guy who's, first of all, he just because he's an intense worker doesn't mean he legit tries to kill people. But you guys like guys like Nakamura and all these guys in Japan who are legit trying to hurt, kill people or hurt people in the ring. But you guys gonna hate on Goldberg? You guys are fucking hypocrites. So stop the hate on Goldberg. Goldberg, if anything, tries to help this business. He actually fucking is good. Draws some viewership. He's entertaining. And again, at least like you, he actually gets a fucking reaction. Like you're, I hate to say that shit, but he actually gets a reaction. Well, you're, he's a polarizing star, like Cena, sadly. But if anything, he's better than Cena, okay? Well, yeah, again, Goldberg fucking rules. Deal with it. Unless you guys are still butthurt that he beats a wrestler in... WWE, here comes the pain. Maybe that's why. I don't fucking know. Guys, I am for no, some stupid reasons, okay? So stop the end with Goldberg. Goldberg rules, and you know what? This match is a good uh, rumor. A good, good match for some time if it happens. Again, it's not, again, it's just a rumor, but apparently that's a report that it's a possible match because Lesnar might not return. But hey, maybe we'll still get Lesnar. And you guys are gonna fucking uh, be angry at Goldberg for no reason. You know, that's, uh, but. 
Hey, do a triple threat. I don't give a fuck. It'll be fucking awesome. A triple threat? Who cares? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, fucking shut up. Who cares? Goldberg, I mean, he's better than Bobby Lashley, and I like Bobby Lashley. But again, I liked him better than Drew McIntyre, and guess what? I was okay with him losing to McIntyre. Again, he put, does put people over. So you can't complain about that. So it's going to be good what's going to happen. Apparently, and again, if they're not, if they're not bringing back uh, Lesnar, 